Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's also a great pleasure and honor to welcome you on behalf of uh, AJT Transatlantic Institute. Uh, I will keep this very brief so we can uh, quickly come to our keynote speech and our, uh, and our experts. Uh, just a short note is that uh, when we discuss terrorism and also terrorism financing, I think it is crucially important that we investigate and analyze the ideological undercurrent uh, that drives and fuels um, extremism, violent extremism, and we cannot only look at the sharp end, we cannot only look at those extremist ideologies and groups that proclaim that they are violent, we, we must also look at those that may claim they are not violent, but still provide the ideological tools and ideas that ultimately also lead to violence. We will soon hear from Ms. Holmeyer. Uh, I just want to also briefly, quickly introduce our, um, our experts, Dr. Magnus Norell, uh, Norell um, uh, from the uh, Euro European Foundation for Democracy. Uh, he will specifically look at the Muslim Brotherhood um, uh, very often also not, uh, including in this house, often uh, misunderstood as a, as a potential so-called moderate partner. Um, uh, Ms. Geta Zaimi, uh, researcher at uh, the International Institute uh, in, uh, at the University of Florence. She will look more at the uh, at Shiite um, uh, uh, structures and uh, Michael Lobsch, uh, analyst uh, with the uh, Stop Extremism uh, uh, organization um, um, as well. Quick correction also, we have here from the European Foundation for Democracy, Roberta Bonazzi, who will uh, give uh, the concluding remarks, round up the discussion, a few words at the end, and John Dewick is here. And Michael Lieberking is my colleague, just to uh, get the protocol correct. And Mrs. Holmeyer, thank you very much. The floor is yours. 